Interruption, Season 4, Episode 4. Right, welcome back, Mustang Nation. Back by popular demand. We are Excuse the Interruption. I am Mr. McFadden, and sitting beside me, as always, is the only man who can walk three miles backwards, Mr. Begundo. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. McFadden. I'm so happy to be back here. We had a great episode uh, before break, and we've had a lot of stuff happen since then, actually. We had uh, we ended the year great. We had the uh, block party. Uh, we had the ugly sweater competition. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking forward to the new year and all that it brings. Yeah, those ugly sweaters. The faculty and the students definitely wore them. All right, everybody, new year, same show. We're back. We have a lot of stuff that's going on, and it has been going on, so we're going to start off with sports action. We have the latest in sports news here, senior athlete Laura, who competes on our competitive cheer team. Take it away, Laura. The varsity competition cheerleading team has had a successful weekend, bringing home five total first-place trophies on Saturday at Lynnhurst. They performed their, performed their first game day routine for the first time and got first place in both game day and performance. They also received grand champs, meaning they received highest score in the entire competition. On Sunday at Woolbridge, the team received first place in both game day and performance again, beating rivals East Brunswick. The wrestling team currently sits at 9-0 on the season, and by the time you see this, we'll know if they succeeded in a sweeping North Plainfield last Friday for the Blue Division and the division title. Our own varsity hockey team, as of today remains undefeated as well. The swim team sincerely appreciates parents and classmates who came out to support the Mustang swim team during their thrilling 89 to 76 victory against division opponent Woodbridge. The team recorded its second victory of the season, swimming to a first place finish in the 10 of the 11 races. We are proud to be Mustangs. Winter season is in full swing and although the weather outside is frightful, spring will be here before you know it. If you are a student athlete interested in spring sports, please get your physicals in now. Don't wait, as the approval process takes time. The sooner you get your physical in, the better. Thank you, Laura. Congratulations to all our winter sports and coaches. I'm looking forward to see what the rest of the season brings for JFK Athletics. All right, next up, we usually hear from our Mustang family here about how proud they are to be Mustangs. But this week, we have a special guest, and we're going to highlight a Mustang family member we are really proud of, Junior Caitlin Figueroa. Today we are interviewing a Mustang that we are very proud of this month, Caitlin Figueroa. So Caitlin, tell us a little bit about um, what you earned with your impeccable soccer skills. So this month I got called up to play for the Portugal Women's U17 national team and I spent five days in Lisbon training with them. Alright, so how did this all happen? Like, Did you have to um, apply or did they seek you out? What happened? Um, so there is no application process for this. Um, I got scouted about a year and a half ago at a college showcase as they were there to watch another player from the United States play and they noticed me and then from then on they asked me if I had Portuguese citizenship to which I did not but because both my parents were born in Portugal I was able to apply for it and get that citizenship card and from then on they decided to call me up to play. All right so um, for those who don't know where is exactly um, Portugal and like what's the weather like tell us a little bit about it what was your experience like? Um, uh, Portugal is in Europe. It's on the Iberian Peninsula right next to Spain. Um, the weather in Lisbon is like Seattle, 60 degrees and just drizzling and raining, which everyone thinks is miserable, which, but it's actually perfect soccer weather. Um, Lisbon's a beautiful city. So what drove you to soccer in the first place? Um, I would say that being Portuguese definitely was the motivation to play soccer, as it is the number one sport in the country. Um, I've been playing since I was three years old, um, developing through academies here in the U.S. And then from then on, I've just been developing my skills with hopes to achieve this opportunity, but I had no idea of it when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So how did you feel, or um, like when did you get the call that you were going to be a part of this program? Um, I, I honestly had about a year in between initially hearing that they were interested in me and getting the call up because there was a lot of behind the scenes work being done as they were contacting my coach and reaching out for films and more details on how I am as a player, my height, <laughs> <laughs> my speed, my mile time, all of that. So there was a lot of stuff like behind the scenes that I wasn't even aware of, but I finally got the call the day after Christmas this year, mm. or last year. All right, so how do you feel after all of this? You're back <laughs> in America after you like traveled? 
Um, definitely it was a culture shock. Um, seeing the way that kid, like people my age interact in different countries, obviously very interesting. And also, I was not the only international from different countries. There was people from Luxembourg and France. So getting over a language barrier, barrier of just that in itself, playing pool with someone who only speaks French, or <laughs> playing pool with someone who speaks German is always fun and exciting. But yeah, the experience was unforgettable. All right. Well, thank you, Caitlin. We're very proud of you this month, and uh, we're very proud that you are a Mustang. <laughs> thank you. Well, Kate, congratulations to you, and thank you for being on our show, and thank you for making us proud. Well, next up, Mr. McFadden, we have junior class officers Peter and Jeet here to tell us a little bit more about a sweet event coming up in February. Take, take it away. I'm junior class secretary Jeet. And I'm junior class vice president Peter. And we're here to tell you all about the Sweetheart Dance. Valentine's Day is soon approaching us. The junior class is sponsoring the Sweetheart Dance, which will take place on Wednesday, February 15th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Come with your friends or bring a date, and be sure to dress to impress. The attire is similar to what you would wear to a school formal. Tickets are $5, and we will begin selling tickets soon. We will not be selling tickets at the door, so you must buy them prior to the dance. Permission slips must also be filled out in order to attend. You will be able to buy tickets through a junior that is part of the Class of 2024 fundraising group or through a junior class officer or our class advisor, Mrs. Tolley. Tickets will also be sold during lunches. See you there. All right, thank you, gentlemen. That dance sounds like it's gonna be too sweet. <laughs> well, also this month, we hosted our first Indic Heritage Showcase in the cafeteria after school. We had a great cultural lineup with musical instruments, Pani Pari competition, henna tattoos, dances, and more. Students from Indic Heritage background wore their cultural clothing on that day, and everyone had a great time to our DEI organization for hosting the event. Looking forward to next month's celebrations. Mr. Burgundo. Yes. Your big segment is up. No. Yes. All right. Take it away with the word of the day, Mr. Burgundo. Today's word of the day is fortuitous. It's an adjective meaning happening by accident or chance rather than by design. The similarity between the paintings may not be simply fortuitous. Now, Mr. McFadden, it's one of my favorite parts of the show. Do you know what time it is? Uh, like 1.45? No! Oh. I mean, maybe, but it's time for Mr. McFadden's thought of the day. Oh, I love this part. I'm Mr. McFadden. All right? It's very important to know this quote, okay? Albert Einstein once said, genius is 10% inspiration, 90% perspiration. Which is a good thing for me, because I must be a genius every time I eat a hot wing. I am sweating from all different parts of pores in my body. So next time maybe I'll enter a contest and I'll find a new planet or something. There's always hope. <laughs> Please excuse the interruption. We have just a few announcements today. Attention all students. Finals are coming up soon. They will be held on January 27th and January 30th. The 27th will be blocks one and block two finals. And the 30th will be blocks three and block four. Both of, these, both of these days will be half days. Also coming up, club photos are going to be on January 19th. 
Your advisors will supply passes to attend. Do not miss it. There will not be makeups. Students will be required to sign in with their school IDs, so please make sure to bring it with you for the photos. And the Astronomy Club is proud to announce an update to the Meteor Shower event. It is now a Comet Viewing event on February 2nd at 6 a.m. They will be hosting a Comet Viewing event on the football field. Tickets are $5 and will include a cup of hot chocolate and a pastry for breakfast. We will honor any previously purchased tickets for the Meteor Shower event. Once again, this event will be weather permitting. And the JFK Memorial High School Bands is hosting their first indoor percussion comp competition Saturday, February 25th. Please come out and support our JFK Band. Hi, I'm Brielle. There is so much happening with this yearbook. First, they're selling like crazy, so grab yours today. They're at $95, and the price will go up on January 20th, so order them now. In addition, senior ads are on sale, but only for a short time. You don't have to be a parent to purchase an ad. Buying an ad gives you space in the book to design however you like. You can create a scrapbook spread with your best friends or shout out to be a beloved teacher. Ad space is limited to purchase soon. Everything you need to know about purchasing can be found on your grade level group classroom. Or on our Instagram, JFK, MHS, your book, or TikTok, Kennedy Mustangs. And lastly, seniors, we want to know your plans for next year. Where are you going? College, military, workforce? You can create an announcement in Canva to share here on the show and on our social media. Templates can be found on our senior class group classroom. And here are a few that we are proud to announce. Thank you, Camelot, and congratulations to those seniors. Those are some amazing schools, and we know you'll do amazing things. Well, Mr. McFadden, it's that time already. Can you believe it? No. It's the end of the show. What? Well, we want to take this time to thank everyone who came to the show today or sent an announcement. And if you're interested in making an appearance in our monthly episodes, please make sure to email our show's producer, Mrs. Rotella. We'd love to have you here. Well, Mr. McFadden, it's that time. I think I would like you to do the honors today. This time? Yeah, yeah. let's think go. I, I it? think you could do it. All I'm right. Definitely... Well, let's see if I can get this right. Our studio audience, I'm going to say one, two, three. Then we're going to say go Mustangs. So here we go. One, two, three. Go, go Mustangs! See you all next time. Hi, Mom. Deep and strong, and pride is based on.